What up? What's good guys? Good morning. Today we're gonna do a video trying to help you guys improve your switch riding. You're not gonna get it overnight. It's hours on a board. You've ridden your regular stance for your whole entire life. So if you try to switch over to your switch stance, it's gonna be awkward. And to be honest, your body has shaped itself around your regular stance. So we're starting it off today strapped in goofy, which is the number one most crucial thing I think that you can do to improve your switch riding is from the moment you get to the hill to the second that you leave the hill, everything you do should be your switch stance. So when you strap in, strap in goofy, get on the lift and you'll feel immediately that your body already doesn't like it because it's used to that regular foot dangling and twisting your body. So that's the first step is begin the process of making your body symmetrical from goofy footed to regular footed. So we're gonna get up here, we're gonna ride goofy all day because your boy is regular footed, believe it or not. And yeah, ah. it's a beautiful day. Bluebird, we got pow stashes all over the place. We got three, four inches of snow last night. And we're also filming for an outside TV intro today. So stay tuned for that. We got a lot of big stuff coming up this month and I'm glad you guys are here with us. Let's do this. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. check out the YouTube later. Notice my homies, he is riding switch. Switch all day. Not regular, but switch. As you guys can see, first run through the park, not even warmed up. I just went right for it. It's in my comfort zone, but it's you know not what I really am the most comfortable at. I just hit first and second jump switch right into the rail lines, trying to do as much switch as I can. It's just hours on your board riding switch that's gonna get you better and doing stuff that you know you can do, but you've been scared to do for so long. Switch takes. I think the only way to get better at switch is to just go switch as long as you can. And when you, you know, decide to slow down, slow down keeping your body switched versus just scrubbing back to your regular stance. Learn how to stop switch front side and back side and then return back to switch. Right, don't go over to regular and then switch it back to switch. Learn how to stop switch and then drop back in switch. Helps a ton. Just the more hours riding switch, the better you will get. Fact. And I've learned that myself. I'm just starting to get, you know, good at riding trail switch. Heels to toes, heels to toes. Keep your knees bent, go do it. Full confo. It's a new month, so you know that means all new prizes to win are now coming into the campfire. So another huge tip I wanna say 
is that when you're riding your regular stance, take note of all of the little things that you do. The way you edge your board in when you strap in, the way your shoulders open. I notice that when I ride regular, a lot of times my shoulders wide open so I can face all the way downhill. I go to goofy footed, which is switch stance for me, and my shoulder wants to close immediately. So you have to be conscious of the things that change when you go to switch. And for me, keeping my front shoulder open as I ride down the hill is one of the biggest tips I have for myself when I ride switch. switch but yeah even just going for it opens up your fear center so that when you do other stuff switch it's easier right Woo. boys and girls check out the dew door setup I go. Feel slow, you're I'm running behind you. So grab your <laughs> camera, grab your gear. <laughs> a mellow day on the hill took care of some business trying to help you guys out with your switch game it's so crucial if you can rip switch as good as you can rip regular you are a true snowboarder yo yo what's up G? Hey, Dan? oh yeah hell yeah how you doing good how y'all doing good yeah yo yeah dude good boys good Another big thing to remember when you're working on your switch game is that you can't get frustrated when you're horrible because it's almost like you're starting learning over again. And you wanna remember all the things that you had issues with when you started learning and try to apply them to your switch riding earlier so it doesn't take you as long to get it. But work your way up. Don't just try to start hitting jump switch if you're not even comfortable riding switch yet. Progression is everything. We wanna stay healthy, we wanna be riding all season. So work on cruising down the hill, connecting your switch turns, work on some switch butters, into some ollies, and then maybe switch board side of box if you're feeling up to it, and just work your way up, like with everything, guys. All right, guys, I know I didn't really do too much riding today, but they're claiming Keystone jumps are opening tomorrow, so we're trying to be super on point. Today it was so mellow. And yeah, I hope to have shared a couple tips there for riding switch with you guys. More than anything I wanna stress is that it's not, like I said, a quick tip that's gonna get you good at riding switch. It's time, it's hours. If you have 10,000 hours on a snowboard riding your regular stance, then in order for you to get that good switch, you're gonna have to put in 10,000 hours. So get out there, shut this video off, smash that like button first, but go and put the time in, put the work in, and before you know it, you will be nuking like napped and down the hill switch no issues
All right, guys, you all know that I am a firm believer in karma and putting good energy out there into the world and then having it come back around whether you like it to or not. And your boy decided yesterday I'm going to do a 20 days of giveaways for the rest of December. And we get back to the crib today to this one, two, three, four, five, six. What? What's in the box? Don't even know what's in the boxes, but we're gonna start opening some of these right now. Let's see what we got here. Super bright. Right up its head. All right, the first thing we actually forgot about is a spare GoPro cover lens. Sick. That GoPro actually, when we hit them up, they hooked it up and they sent it to us for free, so. Thank you, GoPro. Second thing, from Honey Wax. This is, I believe, a 12-year-old kid. I don't know where he lives. Wow. Look at the packaging on her. Oh my. Sent some wax as a sample. Ooh, that smells amazing. For us to use on our boards. Wow, we need that too, literally. Perfect timing. So huge shout out to Honey Wax and this 12 year old kid that's running a business on his own. Unbelievable. And we got a surprise here. He is trying to make some reverse vector 3D molds that he can pour wax into and potentially get a molded block of C-Vlogs wax that we will be selling on the Big Cartel. So what do you guys think about that? Would you cop some C-Vlogs custom honey wax? That would be sick. For the absolute dream, but seriously, shout out honey wax and shout out to homie, absolutely killing it. Look at that. Game at such a young age. Like what? That is awesome. Honey wax? Thank yeah. you, brother. Thank you. That's numero dos. Numero tres is apparently fragile and I think it's another thing of wax. Wow, from another company. Hopefully they wrote it on the inside. You guys, I may seem like I'm ungrateful because I get a lot of stuff in the mail and I can't always remember who it's from, but that's just not it. There's just, I can only take so many screenshots on my telephone and try to memorize so many things. It's a fact. If you are gonna send something, it's always the best bet to put a little note inside describing what's going on. Snow coat, performance coating. Ooh. Sets of wax, this looks super proper. Snow coat, soap stickers, coating. No coating. I don't know what that means. There's got to be some directions here. This is not wax. Snow coat is an exciting new high tech alternative to base waxing. Looks like this stuff is some coat that you actually clean and apply to your board that lasts all season long. That is heavy. That is for another time that we will actually apply that and, and give that a go, maybe on the fresh boards when we get those in here. Fact. The boxes are not over. So you guys already know the Shred Souls contest is going on. We're gonna announce those winners tonight. I gotta hit up the owner, Nate, and see if he picked anybody. From the comments, we had hundreds and hundreds of comments and followers on Shred Souls. Thousands. So stoked, I'm so grateful. And yeah, we're gonna pick some winners for that tonight, but I think in here. We have a beautiful care package from the one and only best boot insole ever from Shred Soul. Rip it open, bud. Whoa! Let's go! Holy smokes. That's a lot of boxes we have there. Packaging. Stickers? Oh. We got small, medium, large, extra large. Wow. Shred soles for the absolute dream here. Oh my, one of the literally the, the greatest thing in snowboarding. I'm not kidding, I don't own one, but my brother does. This is a boot carrying bag slash carry anything you need. Probably one of the most convenient things you can have. It's a boot bag, dude. Super sick, they sell it on the website, I'm sure? Oh, absolutely. Shredsoles.com. I believe 25% off the whole website still until January 15th if you guys wanna cop yourself some Shred Soles. Absolutely. I mean, these things are next level. Yeah. They're apparently, a game this changing. This boot bag's boot insane. Bag. So, the real point of it is when, once you open that bad boy up there and you're in the parking lot, freezing cold and dirty, you stand on this while you're getting your boots on, while your shoes are off. This is a next level bag here. Wow. Dude. Shred soles. For the boys. Thank yep. You, shred soles. We could not be any more grateful. What do you guys think is in this? That's a big box. I gotta back up a lot to get the whole thing in frame. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna wait on this. We're gonna wait on that big guy. A little bit of a, a little teaser here. This is the same exact company. Yeah. We're gonna save this for another time. For another time. That's it for now. Wow. 
All right, guys, before I shut this vlog down for the day, I gotta announce the winners for the Shred Souls. And the homie Nate picked not only one person, but two people because you guys were so sick. And there were so many people that commented. So the first winner is Brent Chats, and the second winner is Conman Skeezy. So if you guys didn't win, don't forget 25% off the whole Shred Souls website with promo code CVLOGS, good until January 15th. And we also have yesterday's contest going on to win five pairs of snow pants. So if you didn't see that, check out yesterday's video. And if you don't know, we're doing 20 days of giveaways. So I got to announce another contest before we wrap this up. And since the homie over at Honey Wax hooked it up so hard with all this wax, I'm so stoked on it. We are going to do a giveaway. If you guys want to win some snowboard wax, a package like this with probably about four of these bricks of wax right here, go on Instagram to honey.wax, follow the kid, and same exact deal. Hashtag CVlogs on any of his recent photos. And in the next 48 hours from now, we will pick a winner and we'll be sending you guys some honey wax for the dream. Thank you guys for tuning in. Check back every day. We're gonna be trying to do these giveaways. I'm doing my best. We got a lot of cool sponsors that have already said that they're down to donate some stuff for the dream. So much love as always. Hope you guys learned something from this vlog. Hope you guys got a little bit of motivation. Maybe we'll get out there and practice switch all day tomorrow. But either way, we'll see you back on Hill. Keystone hopefully jumps open tomorrow. Would be so heavy. Much love guys. Also, real quick, happy 13th birthday to Ryan Santello. Your dad, Steven, tried to get you some C-Vlog stickers, but the mail during the holidays seems to have ate them. We'll get you some soon, but for now, hope you have the best birthday ever, buddy, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.